The working definition we've been using at the program for human flourishing is living in a state in which all aspects of a person's life are good. And so what we've tried to do in, in much of our work is to attempt to identify those aspects of flourishing or well-being that seem to be common across traditions. One thing we know from the science is that taking time to make sure you're going after your virtues, particularly the virtues that you hold personally dear, research really shows that that is the way towards a purposeful life. Things like having a love of learning, you know, having empathic support for other people, having a zest for life, spirituality, bravery, those are the kinds of things that give us a broad sense that what we're doing is really meaningful. Meaningful work is something I've studied for years as an economist and as a social scientist. And it's interesting because I've looked across income categories and education categories and professions and with respect to happiness, there are only two dimensions that matter, service to others and earn success. We want to move in the direction of flourishing. We need emergence and collective creativity, not simple innovation, which is recycling the past with a little improvement. Where I think science can powerfully contribute, however, is identifying the means to promote flourishing, to, to advance these ends of human well-being. I'm convinced that studying the science of flourishing can really help us in our own daily lives flourish better.